Hey YouTube. Uh, I'm going to start by insulting the audience as usual. Guitar players are a full fashion, aren't we? Um, it's like, see, like technology-wise, they've tried lots of times to try and sort of improve guitars and kind of failed really, um, because people just don't seem to want that. Um, so you get your, you know, your Strats, your Tellys, Les Pauls, SGs, Stacey Fives, blah blah blah. And they are still pretty much the guitars you can buy now. I mean, you know, what's a modifications that have come to a strat rather than most of the ones you buy now is like it's now got a five way switch instead of a three way. It's kind of it, really, isn't it? A telly, uh, they I think the originally the the wiring wasn't quite right because you never used to get you know now a telly you get neck pick up both bridge. Never used to be that. It used to be like it's funny combinations one with a tone. One that gave you the give you it without a tone control and stuff but I mean ultimately pretty much just that um, and even though I mean I, I class you know obviously I've got a couple of BC Riches in the world just now they're maybe a little bit different but still ultimately it's the same kind of guitar most of the ones you see now are either in fact most of the ones you ever saw are it's a it's one of those sort of four or five and I suppose okay you get your Explorer and Flying V but even then they're still 50s guitars so you maybe you maybe get a little bit pointier blah 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 but no so it's like real real traditionalists and even like you know electronically you know it's like oh humbuckers so it's like it's just kind of humbucker even now people you know if you, if you, if you once you start getting up to really expensive ones you know they're, it's like your gibsons and vendors are trying to recreating this is a, a 58 strat or a whatever um so it's kind of strange kind of the same with amps as well um i mean the, the amp i use normally oh, this this wee laney which is a, a VC15. I mean, it's like, it's got, it does have an effects loop on it. But apart from that, this is kind of, and okay, it's two channel, I suppose. But really, ultimately, it's just, uh, it's, probably, you know, it's just basically, there's nothing here that you couldn't have had in the 60s or the 50s. Um, same with, you know, if you look at, again, if you look at the expensive ranges, you know, your um, sort of boutique hand wired amplifiers, they are pretty much. Valves, you know, it's like you don't use valves for anything else apart from guitar amps. Back in the day, it's like a valve was because you didn't get transistors yet, so TVs were valve and basically anything that needed a transistor and it had a valve in it because the transistor doesn't exist yet. But these do give give the sound that we are. I mean, I'm I'm guilty of this as well. No, I'm, I'm not taking any of the blame off myself. Um, I do tend to not be so much of a fan of the sort of usual guitar shapes but I mean even you know things like this and this and you know that it's like yeah so they, they, that was Japan trying to do something a little bit different not hugely different but that's kind of basically just a double cut less pollen to that's a sort of chopped up explorer that's a sort of uh, something in the middle between them all I mean actually that one there's kind of Oh, it's an original shape, but it's like an SG and a Tele and a Strat at the same time. So they're all in the same vein. Um, but I mean, do you see these models now for sale now? Nope, they, they stopped making them in the 80s. And that's purely down if people wanted to buy them, they would still make them. So just not popular. Um, the one thing that has sort of changed, they were saying their amps haven't changed. Practice amps have changed. Uh, I, I was blown away by this little amp which I obviously don't use very often now, but um, this is a Black Star Fly 3, so it's like a wee tiny and incredibly dusty, just now, little battery operated amp, and it really does sound so much better than what old little amps this size sounded like. I mean, it doesn't, let's not, 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 not be around bushy, it doesn't sound like a, a real amp, but for the size of it, it sounds pretty damn good, um, you know, with technology. In it, so you can you they're applying technology to make it sound like an old amp. Um, so I'm kind of this video is I'm going to do basically the, the the bigger version of that. So this is a Black Star, um, I Stereo Ten V Two. Is that an ID core? ID core ten. Yeah. So this is what a modern practice amp is. And it does a lot of stuff on it. It's got like effects and um, you know, it's like there's voice on the right hand side there that's got diff all different levels of gain and this handle's not really fair. Yeah. Um, actually, if you look there, you can see along the top, it's got lots of badges, a sticker telling you what everyone does. Um, 
So I'm going to give this a wee blast. I'm, as I said, pretty old fashioned when it comes to these things. I like, I'm not a knob twiddler. Um, that sounds quite rude. Um, but I kind of like it. See when you just plug into an amp and when you've just kind of got everything set at 12 o'clock, obviously the volume, depends on how loud you want it to be, but the volume and the gain I kind of tend to adjust, but it's kind of nice when everyone else is just at 12 o'clock, you plug in and it already sounds all right, rather than plugging in and going, oh, and then immediately having to try and melt it into a good sound. You know, like in my view, I have a really good amp. When you plug it in, just whatever, you know, set at half, it should sound, you should start off with a sound that's pretty good anyway. Obviously, you can tweak to taste, but um, you shouldn't be getting a sound that you don't like and then trying to make one you do. You should start off with a sound that you like, but you may be able to make a sound that you like much better. So I'm really going to try and do that with this wee amp. Um, I'm not going to be able to do a, a loop. I'm not even talking about um, interesting guitars. I, mean, you could, I would even argue I was playing this yesterday. This cause I'm doing this video because it's kind of because I still want to play it. I want to play this guitar more. This is an odd an odd one and it's even then it's still it's like it's clearly got a telly neck on it or a telly shaped headstock and it's a it's a sort of strat i mean it does have innovations so it's got coil splits on push buttons but you don't see these they don't make these anymore either they, you know a modern squire bullet is now a telly or a strat you know um so technology is a funny thing i know that um People, I, I, I don't like pedals very much. I mean, I do have a wee bit of a pedal board going on down there. But um, to be honest, it's kind of more just out of curiosity when I bought them. I, mean, it's, it's, I do like the idea. It's, it's nice having, you know, cool looking pedals that you can stomp on and do stuff. But really, I'm kind of using it. Most of the sounds, I've got maybe four fuzz pedals or something. I've got uh, a rap pedal, a joyous dream pedal, two fuzz pedals and a stack in a box and I'm kind of just you could I could get away with see if I just did like four rap pedals and I had them all set with different amounts of gain on it that's kind of what I've got there I'm just it's like it's nice having a little bit of change not that I'm knocking anyone who does like it um multi effects have come along a long way um the problem I, th I feel a wee bit with multi effects is they go out of date because you get better ones because they are still improving. So like if you go back, you know, 10, maybe a bit longer, 20 years, you could get, you know, your big, a few hundred quid, which it was a really good buy at the time for a multi-effects unit that does everything. Um, now you can pick these things up for 50 quid. And it's like, it's a multi-effects, it does everything. Whereas the, the actual standalone pedals are still worth what they were when they were new. Whereas the, the multi-effects, because they get upgraded all the time, they become very cheap. So I mean, if you're, wanting effects and you're on a budget um get a one, one of these wee zoom things i mean i think they were only like i don't think they were i think they were, they were budget at the time but i mean you can pick them up for 20 30 quid if you look on used on ebay and stuff like that they, they, they do sound good um they don't sound as good i mean obviously now you're right up as it kempers are called where you get like modeling where it's, it's made to sound exactly like lots of different old amps as opposed to just, but I, it depends what it is you're after. Um, so I'm just going to have a wee blast, use it, try to see what the ID core Blackstar does. Um, I'm not using it, because it's got uh, distortion in the front, I'm just going to go straight into it. It's on. And hopefully it's going to sound pretty good. Normally I'm playing through my wee laney, I'm going to be standing in front of it, but the mic's there. This is also like, um, this is room sound as opposed to being, you know, stuck into a computer and processed or processed by youtube but you know what i mean so uh, normally i play i've got my wee laney there and i'm normally playing through three 12 inch speakers and big speakers sound better um they just do really so i mean it's not a fair comparison if you look at the video i did yesterday or the day before with this guitar playing through that because i'm using the internal speakers this thing's in 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 actually stereo um which so i think it's two maybe six inch speakers on it or something like that you know just tick Again, technology. It's also got some sort of crazy uh, pseudo surround sound thing going on about it because when you put on the reverb or the delay, it, the sound doesn't seem, when you look at it, I mean, you're not going to hear it here, but it does. the sound doesn't seem to be coming from the amp. The reverb seems to come from round about it, like using some sort of sonic magic voodoo. Um, I have to say that before you look at it, it is a little bit plasticky. Um, I don't know how much these cost. I don't think they're that expensive. 
it's a little bit plasticky looking, um, but that doesn't affect the way it sounds. I mean, it looks strong enough and stuff, it's just, it doesn't have the, the again, the Tolex, which they used to have in the 50s, which all amps are, you know, just, they just are. Um, so so everything, everything's pretty much at zero. I'm on clean, warm. That's me turn the volume up to half. So everything's at 12 o'clock. Turn the volume up quite as loud as that. And immediately on first listen to it, it doesn't sound like a wee tiny practice amp, which is, was not the case going back a few years. A wee tiny practice amp, you know, you could get a good one, but it still sounded like a wee tiny practice amp. That does not sound like a wee tiny practice amp, it kind of sounds on clean mode like that, uh, as far as, as, far as, I'm, as I'm concerned for the sounds that I want. Even with the effects on, well, this is what the wee, the wee fly does as well, it sounds like it's much bigger. You kind of, I'm looking over there, and it, seemed, it, it sounds like it's coming from, you know, something the size of this big Marshall, rather than that wee tiny thing. Um, which is fantastic. I mean, kids really have it amazing now. happy with that sound and that's me not messed about with it in any way it's just on on whatever the first of the voice settings is it sounds basically exactly what i'm after i mean i'm mad into you know it's a basically i suppose 60s 70s maybe 80s for the sort of judas priesty type thing but old-fashioned stuff um, Lovely. It does. It's only got um, the same as what the basically it's the same as what the wee flies do. The wee fly is this size and sounds like it's this size, whereas that's this size and sounds like it's this size. Um, love it. Uh, it, it, it doesn't have an EQ section as such. Instead, it's got an EQ called an ISF which is a kind of overall tone, so that's it in the middle. So if I go far left. If I go far right. To be honest, both extremes um, I could use. That's the volume. And it does have, I'm going to try and turn on some uh, effects, but I'm not very, um... A reverb. sounds massive, it's sounding even bigger. It really does sound like it's um, huge. For whatever the size of the speakers are in it, you're two six inches of no I don't know if they're even that size. Um, 
obviously there's about six different reverbs all variable effect. What's that one? Um, <laughs> things on at the same time how I'm just basically a mod that'll be a chorus then what's the next one multi-effects unit it's been really good these days I've just been able to cover everything it's already all in there I mean I suppose you don't have they're not turnable audible by your foot um, unless there's a foot switch input I'm not sure that one does but I think the higher up you know you, that's that's like the ID core stereo 10 so I, I think there's probably I'd imagine there's a 20 and probably a 50 watt version that might have you know been able to turn these effects on and off but I mean they're <laughs> Great effects, um, even though I don't ever really, I, I don't really use effects. I mean, I've got them on pedals, of, but I mean, they're very rarely on. Um, so that's a uh, clean, warm. Go for clean, bright. See what that sounds like. Yeah, all right. Great fendery sounds. sounded good so it's already a winner for me so that the clean bright is a little bit brighter as it says. yeah now the next thing is um distortion's a funny thing i'm a tube snob that's why i'm using the soft tech and my wee laney there so i just valve distortion just sounds better to my ears probably 
I've not tried this yet. Um, so let's see what it's, it's, it's often lacking in small amps, especially if you go back ten years. You know, like your sort of standard. I mean, I've got, actually got a couple of uh, something you know selling for ten twenty quid. Um, we boxy amps. I mean, even even saying that, if you go back. 30 years used to be an amp called a Gorilla. It was just atrocious. I mean, some of these amps were just terrible. You know, if you go vintage transistor practice amps, pants, whereas now it's, it's amazing what they do. So if I go to Crunch, see what we get with. I've not even been touching the gain yet. sounding for my tastes um, that to me is more you're getting into uh, Metallica Slayer type territory even though I don't really know Metallica or Slayer that well or mo you know, more, more, more modern metal sounds <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Imagine is super extreme death metal. <laughs> too many things it does but I mean how can it be too many you can just not turn the knobs I mean things like the effects you know I'm not really as I said a couple of times this video I don't really use effects very much anyway just side effects but um it's like they're all there and if I, if I, if I don't want the effects I just don't turn them on and then I can just ignore them it's just the single call sound so the, the clean sound is already a winner for me. Oh, so it to be, now I've been listening to it in super, just, super just, uh, overdrive mode, I'll turn it up a little bit. Um, in certain things, <laughs> it's just like, and that's small amps or the one or, or, or it. I mean, does it really sound any not as good as what um, my wee Laney? Um, there is a part in your head which is, I think is in any way. It's the same thing that happens when your kind of head tells you what you want to think before you actually start playing. You know, it's like here's a a 1951 Telecaster. I bet you. You're already in your head going, oh wow, oh this is going to be amazing. Same with an amp, whereas you might actually be able to get one that's, you know, here's a guitar that's 200 quid and it's like already in your head. It's like, it can't be as good. So you don't hear it as well. Um, a bit of that. So I mean, the tube snobbing is just going, well, why wouldn't you just use that? Um, I, I don't know what, I mean, that, that's me. I don't know. I know that valve amps, when you've got them cranked up in the studio and they're, you know, they're rocking away, you get different sounds, but that can kind of approximate them at quiet volumes. Big difference as well, it's like that's um I assume it sounds really good when it's down really quiet. So turn the, the volume right down. Not that much. But ears are used to listen to it a bit louder, but I quite like the, the crunch channel was good for just a little bit of It's a big thumbs up for this 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 black star and all the black stars i've ever tried that's the fly and that one i mean obviously the fly because it's so small it doesn't sound for what it is 
it's amazing. And I think there's probably an element of that with this for what it is, for being a small um, practice amp. It's, 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 it's quite chunky. I'm just going to read out what it, what it does on these. This, I assume that's a sticker. It is, so you could peel that off and someone no one has. So it's V2, it's got six enhanced voices. It's got 12 enhanced effects in super wide stereo. Uh, PreSonus Studio One Black Spar Edition software and a USB thing. So you can imagine you can probably actually program this thing using your computer. But that's that's way, way above my head. But I'm just saying with, without that function, it's 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 there. I can just completely ignore it because I don't really understand it. Um Super stereo, super wide stereo. Uh, I said your infinite shape feature, which is this sort of mad EQ thing, which isn't. It's a sort of overall EQ. It sounds really good. It basically, it seems to sound good all the way around. Um, but it's not a bass treble, and a, it's a bit of everything. A speaker emulated line out. Oh, that'd be good for recording. Free insider software. Patches. Oh, it's got a, it's got a tuner built into it. So I mean, really, it's like this. You don't need anything else. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's. I don't say that if it's got a speaker emulated output. Yeah, and if you're you could you, you could get it because you just run the speaker emulated output into the desk and then there you go. So I mean, gone are the days of having to lug about amps this size. Well, that's a bass amp, but you know what I mean. Um, I mean, saying that, I, I gigged with that and it's totally fine. Um, you don't need because everywhere's got a PA now. It was different back in. Deep Purple days, when you know it's like Richie Blackman used to play through two hundred watt Marshall heads, like four of them and stuff like that, and then Ian Gill would sing through a Marshall stack, and the keyboards went through a Marshall stack. It was basically just had a wall of speakers because that was all they had. That, that had to project to the the back of the arena they were playing in, what is now so you know the expensive and technology again with PA's. I mean, technology and PA's has gone on ridiculously back, and even when I was gigging, when I started gigging twenty years ago. You know, I mean. PA speakers were that size and up, and now you can get ones that are the same volume and the same wattage and all that, but you can carry them and they're okay. They're not quite this size, but you know they're getting on that way. Um, I'm thinking of going that way. I don't know. The, the Black Sabbath bands may be a bit different. I mean, I, I, I bought that cheap and then painted it up. But the Black Sabbath bands, um, 150 watt bass amp is big enough. Just because this thing's an absolute monster, but obviously the guys in the band won't be able to use that because we're Black Sabbath. We've got to have massive speakers, and it does look much better standing in front of, you know, a six foot high, four hundred watt Marshall than it does standing in front of that, which is better than looks better than standing in front of something this size. But the bass amps, um, people keep telling me you can get a uh, like this new technology. You get one that's the sort of size of a, a VHS cassette. Uh, showing how old I'm, I don't remember what the videos look like. But I mean, and these things are like two, three hundred watt, and it's like it's just you just put it in your gig bag, and like right. You can get you get a, a, they, they weigh nothing. Um, it, it is the future. I think there's still going to be see that that's bass players though. Bass players. I mean, I'm a bass player as well, but I mean, they tend to not be quite as old fashionedy as guitars are. Guitar players are because I mean, basses have sort of come along a little bit. You know, you do get. You know, sort of more odd shapes and a bit. You know, basses tend to look a bit more modern. Obviously, I don't buy them. I buy old-fashioned shaped ones. I use a tube amp and all that. Just, but bass is a funny thing because bass really all you really need to do is make it louder, as opposed to a guitar amp which has to create its own sound. If you've ever tried plugging an electric guitar straight into your hi-fi, nobody's got a hi-fi anymore. Try plugging it straight into a PA. It doesn't sound brilliant ever unless you've got some sort of processing thing to make it sound like a guitar because an actual guitar amp doesn't just make whatever it is you put in it louder it colors it and makes it sound good as opposed to a bass amp which basically obviously not 100 percent the way but basically what you really want is just taking the sound of your bass and making it really loud that's kind of it obviously there are eqs and distortions and all these things you can put on it but ultimately really just what you just want it to be exactly what you're putting in but many many decibels louder um whereas a guitar amp that's not really the case you need to have the sound and then it needs to be louder and this can do the sound so if you're going to maybe i don't know if, would you want to make it maybe if you mic up in stereo and stuck it into the pa you're going to get the mad stereo effect thing which would be 
pretty cool. Yeah, so anyway, technology. I still think the best guitars, well, uh, the best guitars are older ones. But the best guitars, as far as I'm concerned, are from the 80s uh, in Japan. Uh, just seem to, every, every time I seem to be getting ones that really, really stick uh, with me, or even like that, that Squire, which I wasn't even really expecting to keep. Um, they're, they're just better quality than what you get now for the sort of prices that I'm talking about. I'm not I'm not spending £2,000 on a guitar. So I mean, maybe a, a Fender Custom Shop is better than these. Uh, I don't think it's a lot better, but maybe it is better. But a lot of people, it's like having that guitar, for example, although it's very pretty and stuff, it's not, you know, it's not a desirable shape. It's very, it's, it's got its own thing, which I, most people want strats. Basically by going by how many strats are sold and how many second hand strats. I mean that's why the Bucky Casters they're all strats, it's because those are the guitars that you get all the time. Even though you're know, cheap ones and stuff like that, they're just that that's what everyone wants as an electric guitar as a strat or a Les Paul, um and then less so for your SGs, tellies, um three three fives, and I suppose flying V's everyone you know, this is kind of it's a bizarre thing. Um but amp wise if this was more on the amp, I'd be totally fine. Well, because I'm I'm in two bands now, I would need a bass amp for gigging, and I'd need a guitar amp for gigging. But then again, I'm not I'm not saying it's impossible. I just kind of like the idea. There's a bit of a sort of a macho thing about lugging, you know, like a four by twelve cabinet in. I'd be like, oh, there you go, I've got a four by twelve cabinet. I just, I just don't think you need <laughs> these days at all. Um, if it's maybe it's probably better, or it, it, even if it's as I said, it's like so much of it's played the placebo effect in your head. If you really like something, you know, it's like you're going to really like it. I mean, for me, something like that, I like the look of that and the idea of it better than a Les Paul. So I will play that better than I will play a Les Paul. Um, on a pe most people would be the other way around, but that's it's not like a it's just the human condition, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, so that was a nice long video for a Sunday. Hope you're all well. Um, again, thanks to everyone for the, the all the subs and all the positive comments. And it's like, wait, I kind of wish I hadn't. The, the, the sub video was kind of a bit strange. All these people going, oh, you're brilliant. It's like, oh, it's like don't take praise well. But um, thanks. I mean, ultimately, fantastic. Love you all, man. Rock on. Oh, I should, should hold this up for the, the video, um, the thumbnail. Make a silly face. Or make a sexy face. That's not working. Rock on. <laughs>